Welcome everyone, I'm Jordan Sharp as we head into another night of prop betting action here at sportsbookreview.com. It's time for me to release my prop betting picks for Game 4 of the Eastern Conference Finals, all of these courtesy of Bovada. And we'll start it off with young Tristan Thompson, who's really been uh, having an evolution here in these playoffs, turning into uh, going from a boy to a man, it seems, as he uh, really has become an elite defender and rebounder this series and so far throughout the playoffs as well. Uh, and tonight, uh, while instead of going for a points or rebounding prop for him, I'm looking at his made free throws prop for Bobata at three. And uh, the over-under both sitting at minus 115 for this. Now, his, his free throw shooting has been a little bit all over the map here during the postseason. He shot 64% for the regular season, all the way up to 82% against the Bulls during the postseason. However, so far throughout this series, Young Mr. Thompson has not been as good, and he's only shooting about 32% and made seven of his last 19 free throws here so far this series. They kind of fouled him a lot in games one and two, but that uh, fell off in game number three as the Hawks were obviously a lot closer in that game. Went to the line three times in game number three and missed all three free throws. So not looking great here at the free throw line so far during this series, and I think it's an opportunity to take the under here at three free throws. When he gets an offensive rebound, he really doesn't go back up for a shot too much. He tends to pass it back out, get the ball to LeBron James, and reset the offense, but I think the Hawks probably not going to pull any Hacka Thompson uh, strategy out of their hats during this game if it stays close, so I'm going to go with under three at minus 115. Next one I have for you is a prop I'm doubling down on after we cashed it two nights ago, and it's Jeff Teague's over uh, points tonight prop for Bovada at 18 and a half one over with this one. Once again, I think uh, always a good strategy uh, with the injuries that the Hawks are facing this uh, postseason, especially this series. Uh, I think the Teague's probably going to have to be that volume shooter that they've been asking for. He only shot uh, nine for 23 in game number three, but the volume that he shot and the amount of times he got to the free throw line were really good indicators to me that I think he can continue that here into this game, even on the road with Kyrie out. I think he has really nothing to worry about on the defensive end, so he can focus entirely on offense. I think over 18 and a half points is a pretty easy wager tonight, even though uh, there is a little bit of chalk with it at minus 130. And finally tonight, Jamari Carroll from Bovada has an over-under for points, rebounds, and assists tonight at 19 and a half. And if you think back to what he did in the first two rounds, you think that's extremely too low, and the over would be a, a much better play. However, uh, it seems that this series has really taken a toll on him. That knee injury combined with being uh, having to guard LeBron James is really taking a toll on his offense. This is uh, season or uh, postseason totals all the way down to only 10 points and two, uh, three rebounds so far per game in this series, compared to about 17 points per game and seven rebounds per contest. Uh, in the first two rounds. Really, I think it's probably more so the knee injury than guarding LeBron, but his shooting has just absolutely been diminished. He actually got to the 10-point mark at the game three, but only was four for 12 during that, and his uh, three-point shooting has really plummeted as well, down about 10 percentage points from the uh, first two rounds of the playoffs. So I think under here is actually a pretty good wager considering the chalk. Uh, there's no chalk on it. The chalk's with the over. Uh, the under is actually even money here for uh, 19 and a half points, rebounds, and assists, and I'm going to take a stab at it because he has not met that in his last three games, and I don't think game number four is going to change much here. So I'm going to go under 19 and a half at plus 100. Add that as well as all these other prop betting picks to your NBA picks tonight. Best of luck to you on those and I'll see you back here tomorrow. But until then, I'm Jordan Sharp and this has been another edition of the Sharp Pick.